Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how we can create a hit VFX effect using the Unity Particle System. So let's get started. Start by creating a new particle system and rename it to hit underscore particle system. Reset its transform. Okay. Now uncheck renderer and create a new particle system and rename it to sparks inside renderer set the max particle size to 3 next we are going to use the default particle system and here from the renderer select stretch billboard okay next is set the speed scale to 0.1 and uh, the length scale will be 5 and uh, we'll go up and uncheck looping and life will be start lifetime will be 0.7 okay and speed will be random between two constants the values will be 4 and 12 and uh, we will check 3d start size and the values will be 0 0.01 on x and y okay next we will check the simulation speed to 1.2 we'll set a burst of 30 and make it 0 okay then inside shape set the shape to sphere and the radius will be 0 0.25 thickness will be 0 0.36 then we're going to check limit velocity over lifetime and uh, speed is going to be 0 0.2 and dampen is going to be 0 0.5 after that we are going to check color over lifetime and make the opacity of this one to 0 then we have size by speed and select a graph this one okay okay after that we have noise check noise and Select separate axis and set the value to minus 1, minus 1 and minus 1. Okay, frequency will be 1.2 and uh, the scroll speed will be 0. Okay, next let's play it to see how it looks. Zoom it. It's too far from the camera so let's make camera a little bit closer so currently this is the way your particles are moving if we increase the size to a bit bigger we can see them much better now uncheck this one no not this one now uncheck this one and create a new effect particle system and rename into circle glow underscore so the circle glow Set the max size to 3. Okay. Now we need a texture named Circle Glow. I have it here. Let me import both of these textures. Select them. Alpha is transparency. Hit apply. Now I need this one. So I will create a material and rename it to circle glow underscore mat and I will select the shader to legacy shaders particles additive drag and drop this texture here and here drag and drop this material this is what you can see for now next we have uncheck next we have to uncheck looping start lifetime will be random between two constants 0 0.05 to 0 0.35 and 
and speed is going to be 0 and size is going to be 2 scroll speed will be simulation speed will be 1.2 and we are going to uncheck shape and inside emission we are going to set a burst of count 5 and the cycles are going to be 10 set this value to 0 and this is how it's looking then we have to check color over lifetime and set the color to something like this this will be 1 both of these will be 0 and 0 okay now play it and it's looking like this but we have to check size over lifetime and I think this one is fine so this is how it's going to look amazing right so we also need rotation over lifetime and that's going to be 360 after that we are going to select a color of blue good okay let me reposition the camera for it to be center aligned okay i think that's fine okay next we have to duplicate this one uncheck it for now and uh, rename it to glow right and uh, uncheck shape if it's checked and uh, we are going to set a burst of one with a cycle count of one and then we have limit velocity over lifetime and uh, inside this Speed will be 0 0.2, dampen will be 0 0.5 and size of a lifetime will be like this. Add a keyframe here and this will be like this. Now we have a lifetime of constant 0 0.25 and we're going to set the speed to 0 and size will be 2.2 now save it restart to see it how it looks okay this is how it looks i think i should change the blue to a bit of lighter blue okay now we have to duplicate glow again and check it for now glow is and rename it to something glow underscore 2 and set the duration to 0 0.6 and start lifetime to 0 0.3 size to 1.5 rotation to render between two constants 0 and 360 and we have to duplicate this material and drag and drop this texture here and drop this material here like this one okay great and inside emission set a burst of five maybe then uncheck limit velocity over lifetime and size over lifetime check size over lifetime and it's like this one great and also check rotation over lifetime and set random between two constants and the values will be minus 360 and 360 and save it now show all of this and restart and this is how you create a hit effect using the unity particle system i believe the sparks are not very much visible so we should increase its size to maybe 0.2 0.2 let's see if they have any change they do have a change but they don't look very good so let's reduce the size to 0 0.1 and 1 and let's change their color to lightish blue as well that looks better so
So this is how you create a hit VFX effect using the Unity Particle system. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. We will see you in a new video. Goodbye.